If you think about it, communication is the basic business act. Nothing gets done without communication. Diana Boer, turning communication challenges into results. Diana Boer has spent her entire career perfecting the art of written, oral, and interpersonal skills. She is an expert on leadership communication, executive presence, and business communication. Her proven techniques and methods have helped Fortune 500 businesses transform ideas and information into results. Highly requested keynotes include creating personal presence, look, talk, think, and act like a leader. 10 communication strategies every leader needs to know. Talking to the top brass, thinking on your feet in the C-suite. How you come across makes a great deal of difference whether your clients accept your advisement or they don't. Whether your people who report to you accept you as a leader and what you tell them and how you tell them to handle a client situation or whether you don't. When you write something, when you speak and you are vague, most people interpret negatively. They feel that you have something to hide. That's why you're vague. Because they feel like if you had a good reason or you had data to explain it, you would be specific. Your personal presence is what it takes to get a message past the ears to the heart, to get action, to get a decision, to get people to achieve that goal. Diana has authored 46 books translated into 26 languages published by prestigious houses like Simon & Schuster, Warner, Random House, and McGraw-Hill. Her latest books, Communicate with Confidence, Creating Personal Presence, and The Voice of Authority are must-reads for anyone serious about career advancement. Let me give you three principles here. One, frame the positive approach. People are can understand more easily what you're saying because they have an open mind when you frame things in a positive way. Think about it. Instead of saying, I can't have the paperwork ready until Friday, why not say, I can have the paperwork ready on Friday? <laughs> it's just a matter of positive framing. Summary. Try to answer your, the question they're asking you with a one-sentence bottom line answer. Or try to express your position on an issue. Why did you make that recommendation? Try to give them a one sentence answer. And then elaborate. Go back and explain the whys and wherefores. Here's the data, here's the number, here are the reasons, the four reasons that we made the statement, or I'm telling you that's my position. Then give them a concrete example. For example, a retiree in your position, here's the typical uh, situation that you're facing, and here are the pros and cons of such and such, and here's why we're recommending what we're recommending and then restate. You can exactly use the summary statement you started with, same wording, or you can paraphrase it. The national media often requests Diana's expert advice on workplace communication challenges. She has been interviewed by Good Morning America, USA Today, Forbes, The Wall Street Journal, Investors Business Daily, National Public Radio, Fox, CNN, CNBC, Bloomberg, The New York Times, Washington Post, and several other national radio, TV, and newspapers. Your voice follows your body language. So your speaking pattern is something you develop over your entire life. It's very hard to change your speaking pattern. So if you've ever been told you're soft-spoken or anything about your voice, that will be very hard. A quick way to change it is to work on the body language. And instead of saying, you need more energy, you need to be more forceful, you need to breathe, whatever, I just said, those are your targets. If you were to see, you're sitting in McDonald's, and you're talking a normal conversation, and you see a child out in the parking lot about to get run over, you don't have to say, raise voice, child cannot hear you, project louder. You just go, stop! And immediately, you project louder. So by looking at those two people, he automatically straightened up his posture, and he automatically took on a different facial expression. And there's where you said, commanding, more serious, more credible, 
engaging all the terms that you used. Diana's many accolades include the Executive Soundview Summaries Award for 25 Best Business Books of the Decade. IBM has given her its Star Quality Award for her writing and presentation programs. And Frito-Lay, where she's delivered numerous communication programs, has presented her firm with a Supplier of the Year Award for overall impact on the organization. It's no surprise that Successful Meetings Magazine has named her to its list of the 21 top speakers for the 21st century. The results of what you do is what you write up in a report or in an email or what you report to your boss or what you report in a meeting to other people. So they see how you communicate about what you do. That's why those four things are so important. How you speak, how you write, how you contribute and speak up in a meeting to suggest ideas, and then what you choose to report and pass on to other people. That shows judgment. Are you able to sort the significant from the trivial? And three of those have one thing in common, and that is the ability to summarize. Diana will help your group walk away with sound principles and practical tools to increase effectiveness, improve productivity, and build stronger relationships. Proven track record at client organizations, Hallmark, Hewlett Packard, Siemens, Novartis, Bayer, Nysource, AMR, BP, ExxonMobil, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, Occidental Petroleum, J.P. Morgan Chase, Principal Financial Group, Northwestern Mutual, USAA, J.C. Penney, Walmart, PepsiCo, Alcatel Lucent, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Boeing, Bell Helicopter, Internal Revenue Service, U.S. Navy, and NASA. Book Diana for your next event and communicate with confidence.